we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It's Elle here with your the sixth uh, episode of Money and Biz Career Reading. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person that comes to the reading with a message from you. Okay, so our card that we we're talking about today for money and career is the Four of Cups. Okay, so it talks about maybe some of you being distracted, dissatisfied, bored in your day to day, whether that's at your job or your own business that you create or uh, whatever, wherever it is, there's distraction, boredom, because maybe you're looking at something through the eyes of, well, why don't I, or maybe I should, or I don't understand why I, instead of being grateful for where you are, understanding that everything is a process, it's going to take a bit of time, you know, slow and steady wins the race. As soon as you don't see the immediate results of something, then you're thinking about how you can either reshape it, reform it, or scrap it and come up with a new idea. And that's not how you're going to get anything accomplished, you know? You're going to have to understand that, yeah, things take time. Stop looking at other people's process and, you know, comparing it to yours. Maybe your process is different. Maybe your journey uh, in career, in finance, in business is going to be different. Be grateful for where you are right now. If you feel like you don't have enough or you don't have anything to be grateful for, just inhale, exhale. There you go, right there. Um, you have something to be grateful for. Uh, the universe wants you to look at something through a different scope also. Stop meditating on uh, things that are out of reach or things you cannot control. Uh, meditating on maybe materialistic things also. Again, it's about other outside energy, looking at everyone else or, and trying to compare and contrast. Therefore, you're finding disappointment, dissatisfaction, maybe even disillusionment right now. Um, it says get out of your own way. It's like it's happening or it can happen for you, but you've got to get out of your own way. It's like you make excuse um, or you pessimism is happening with you. OK, you have to be optimistic and you can't make excuse for not doing it or not continuing to do it. Slow and steady wins the race. It's just like you have to stay motivated to see it through, whether this is business or career. You know, yeah, they've got the promotion or they're doing well or they can buy this or they can go there or they drive that car. Or how have you made a plan as to how you want to get there? If that is your end result, if that is the goal, have you talked to your God about where you should be, where you would best serve? You know, it's really about analyzing yourself, go within to get answers, but don't go within to then beat up on self, compare self and just further confuse your emotions. You might be distracted at work because you, there's no creative element and we were made to create, we were meant to create, right? And there's no creative element there at work. Therefore, you're just kind of despondent, checked out. There's resentment, regret. You want to throw in the towel. It's, you're done. You're over it. 
But if that's where you need to be right now, because that is what brings you money, bread and butter for right now, then you have to come up with a plan and then institute the plan steps of how to get to where you really want to be. But don't just rest in uh, dissatisfaction, disappointment, and ungratefulness. What else can we tell our people for the money and the biz? Some of you have a lot to be grateful for, but you keep looking at other things too. That's what they say. Yeah, justice is coming for you. Things will be made right within maybe work sector, just in life in, in totality. You know, things will be made right. Things will be, all those injustice, the wrongs that were done to you, around you, for you, stumbling blocks, roadblocks, traps, snares set for you, all of that, you will get recompense. You will be rewarded for your um, your effort and for being uh, harmed or um, yeah, enduring, okay? Endurance, you know, creates a uh, character. So just keep going in something. It looks like you're gonna get justice, karma. You're gonna get, you know, uh, what you're meant to have, cause and effect. If something happens and then the effect of it is that maybe things are made right around you or surrounding you or maybe even a legal matter. You may feel like something is not fair, life isn't fair or that isn't fair or why didn't I get, it's, it's also about being grateful and looking at where you are and what you do have. One more card for career and money and biz and career, money and biz reading. Yeah, you got to look at something from a different perspective. What are you willing to sacrifice? What have you sacrificed? If nothing, then how can you be in the energy of, oh, I don't know, you know, why I don't have or woe is me. The hangman. You have to be willing to sacrifice something, whether that's money, time, energy, people, whatever. You have to be willing to sacrifice something to get where you want. The hangman poses for us to ask the question, why haven't I had what I really want? I, 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 you, you, you. It's about you and no one else. Put Hang yourself upside down and look at something from a different perspective. Twist your world upside down and look at it from a different perspective. It says something in this dynamic will have to be sacrificed, let go of. To make sacrifice means that whatever you're leaving behind, getting rid of, doing without, it was of value to you. At some point, you're going to have to sacrifice it, do without it, get rid of it. Are you willing to make that sacrifice? If you love your weekends, but you want to start your own business, but you work a nine to five, Monday through Friday, but I love my weekends, I want to sleep in, I want to go to brunch, I want to hang out with friends and family. I want to go skiing. I want to go um, golfing. I want to go canoeing. I want to go hiking. I want to do anything but start my business. Okay, you're not willing to sacrifice your weekends. Your weekends should be dedicated to starting your business, doing your business. The Two of Pentacles here, because the Two of Pentacles talks about what we do in the everyday, in the now. Uh, it will show up in the Four of Pentacles where we have stability, where we have newfound wealth where we have a leg to stand on, where we have a bridge, where we have a foundation, right? The same, what you do every single day. I don't know what you do every day. Do you complain? Are you resting in disappointment, dissatisfaction, distraction every single day? It says for the days, uh, are e it says, uh, how can I even not remember it? For the days are evil. You need to redeem your time. You know, so it just talks about buying back your time. It talks about redeeming yourself from past poor behavior. You need to, if you just did nothing each and every day, or you didn't work on your true goal, or you didn't have any structure to your day, it says the days are evil. Evil means it's without form or it's without morality. Um, it's immoral. It's chaos. So the days are chaotic and immoral, okay? So it just says you gotta redeem your time because the days are meant for you to be stuck in chaotic situations and immoral situations. So you have to have structure, regimen, routine, a plan that you institute each and every day. The two talks about every day, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, priority, value, you gotta value it. 
whatever it is you're trying to bring into fruition, whether it's a new career, it's a business, uh, it's both, it's this, it's that, it's going to school, it's graduating. You got to be like the queen of swords and cut things that add no value out of your life because it's, a, it's distracting you from end result. This is what I have for you in the money in the biz career reading. Um, if it resonates for you, you want to read it just like this, like tell me about my uh, money and my business and my career, what I need to be doing, what I need to be focused on. Um, go ahead. Um, 10 minute readings are on sale. We can talk about it there, uh, phone or zoom or video recorded. So they're all on sale. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Okay. And if you took something from the reading, you can always get back. I love coffee. You could buy me a coffee. If you're feeling moved to do so, the link is below. Uh, and if you are a business minded individual, you want to connect with me and get on a complimentary discovery call to see if I can help you further uh, your business endeavors. Go ahead, schedule your complimentary call. And then uh, if you want to be around business minded individuals each and every month, go ahead and sign up for the monthly KTMG Keep the Momentum Going conference call where we talk about all things spiritual and practical to either start, maintain, or grow your business. You get individual spiritual work. Um, you get into, you get, uh, mantras, you get meditation. Uh, you also get practical advice. You get advisors, you get resources. So this is uh, where you want to be. If you want to start, if you want to have intuitive business coaching, go ahead and sign up there. All links are below in the description box. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.